Decision 2020. It's going to be a very busy evening tomorrow in and around Pfizer Forum. Yes, the Bucks are set to tip off against the Knicks at nearly the exact same time that President Trump is set to hold a campaign rally at neighboring UW-Milwaukee Panther Arena. Preparations for President Trump's rally started early Monday as crews laid out 375 metal barricades and dozens of portable restrooms in front of UW-Milwaukee Panther Arena. The rally is happening at the same time as the Bucks knicks game, which is already sold out, meaning lots of people downtown. There's probably going to be a surge of 25, 30,000 people in the Central Business District. I would encourage folks to park as far away from downtown as they're comfortable walking. People who work downtown are worried about parking. On a regular basis, I have to park about four or five blocks away, so I'll probably park uh, like 10 to 15 blocks away tomorrow. Businesses are also adding extra staff and see Tuesday's event as a test for the summer. Obviously, we're a little busier, um, so we have to take into account housekeeping, food and beverage, all of those items. Um, the road closures do impact us a little, but we've already prepared. As a matter of fact, it's probably a little bit of a dry run for when we have the DNC down here. And so far as how they're going to be blocking it on off and where the perimeters are. You can expect additional security and road closures as President Trump and Vice President Pence make their way from Mitchell International Airport to downtown. You can also expect minor flight delays. Our department will be able to handle this. Uh, we do some have some extra deployments, but again, I do have the uh, Milwaukee County law enforcement teams available if need be. And if you're heading to the Bucks game, the team is encouraging fans to arrive earlier than expected and expect long lines as well with the gates opening at five. And just into our newsroom, Milwaukee police have announced several roads will be closed for the presidential visit. The closures will start at noon and won't reopen until 10 p.m. The closures will impact the Pfizer Forum surrounding roads that you see on your screen. For more details on where they start and end, you can go to our website, tmj4.com. Here's what else you'll need to know. The Milwaukee County Transit System says routes may be delayed or have to take temporary detours tomorrow between 2 and 11 p.m. So check which routes are being impacted by searching MCTS delays on tmj4.com.